Hello, my dear friends. Today we are going to learn about the development of brain. And uh, this is one of the very simple topic in the very beginning of neuroanatomy. And this is going to help all the students who are studying MBBS right now and even for preparing for various exams. Now let's begin. As we all know, our central nervous system includes the brain and the spinal cord. And both your brain and the spinal cord develops from neural tube. Neural tube, the cranial part of that develops into the brain and the caudal part of that develops into the spinal cord. So right now I'm going to teach you about the development of the brain from the cranial part of the neural tube. Let's begin. Now, when you study about the development of brain, initially the brain will have primary vesicles. And there will be totally three primary vesicles. And those primary vesicles will be there will be a prosencephalon. The primary vesicles includes the prosencephalon and then the mesencephalon. and the rhombencephalon. Now these primary vesicles of the brain develops into the secondary vesicles as the name indicates. So the primary vesicles now develops into the secondary vesicles. The prosencephalon develops into two secondary vesicles the prosencephalon develops into the two secondary vesicles and out of this one will be the telencephalon telencephalon and the other one will be the diencephalon so there is a telencephalon and diencephalon and now what about the mesencephalon the mesencephalon will not change it develops into a secondary vesicle and the secondary vesicle it will remain as a mesencephalon and then finally, finally, rhombencephalon. And the rhombencephalon will also develop into two secondary vesicles. And those two secondary vesicles will be, let me tell you the names now. The rhombencephalon develops into two secondary vesicles, one being the metencephalon. One is metencephalon and the other one will be the myelencephalon. And now, so if you observe right now, the prosencephalon develops into the two secondary vesicles, the telencephalon and diencephalon. Mesencephalon remains as a mesencephalon. And the romencephalon develops into two secondary vesicles, one is being the metencephalon and the other being the myelencephalon. So in total, you have got five secondary vesicles. Now next is what will be the final derivatives, the adult derivatives from these ones. So let us see the derivatives of your different different parts of your brain. So telencephalon develops into cerebral hemispheres or simply we can call it as cerebrum. Diencephalon, it develops into all your thalami. I hope you have heard about thalamus, hypothalamus, epithalamus, subthalamus. All the thalami together forms your diencephalon. Or I can say vice versa. All the thalami will be developing from the diencephalon. So I do it just write down here. Diencephalon develops into thalamus, hypothalamus, and then subthalamus, epithalamus, so on. And then we all know that mesencephalon develops into your midbrain. Mesencephalon develops into your midbrain. And then finally, about the metencephalon and the minencephalon. Metencephalon develops into your pons and cerebellum. Metencephalon develops into pons and cerebellum. And then finally, the myelencephalon. The myelencephalon develops into the medulla oblongata or simply medulla. So basically, I'm trying to tell you that pons, medulla and cerebellum together your hindbrain develops from meten and myelencephalon, which in turn develops from your rhombencephalon. So that is the development of your forebrain, midbrain and the hindbrain. So it all develops from the cranial part of the neural tube. 
hope this video will help you thank you all we'll meet you again in the next video